blows my mind to this day how much my host family did for me. Basically, this video is just a big thank you to them. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Montana and I was an exchange student in Germany last year. Now I just make videos on German and American culture. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you should live with a German host family and like the best parts of basically living with a host family and a lot of them have to do with the Germany and like German host families. I did the Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange Program and for this exchange program, I got to live with the host family. I know that there are a lot of other programs where you can go abroad and live in like a student student housing, student apartment. I personally think that living with a host family is so much better and I am so, so thankful for my German host family. They were the best host family I could have asked for. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I was cram like cramming and studying so much for exams. I guess cramming isn't a good word because um, I studied a little more than cramming. For people who don't know what cramming is, it's when you study only like the day before a test. So you cram all the information into your head and it's proven that it's super bad and you forget it. But basically I had my exam week at the University of Virginia and it's basically over and I'm moving out soon. So this is going to be the last time you will be seeing this ugly background. <laughs> my apologies. A filming in a dorm was not my favorite. But getting on with the video and the best parts of German host families. Um, the first one is that I found that they really helped me not feel as homesick as I think I would have felt if I were alone. I had a host brother and a host sister who are both similar ages as me and they were just so um, nice and like helpful so I think that that is one thing that you don't get if you are trying to live alone somewhere when you have a host family they basically become your second family and they are there for you no matter what they can support you with school with your work with whatever you're doing in <laughs> Germany or in the other country that you're going to so I think that was probably the biggest benefit another thing that my host mom in particular really really helped with was government papers and just the logistics of moving to another country so my I had to go to like the Ausländerbehörde which is the sorry if I'm saying that wrong um but that is like the foreign affairs department kind of and you have to register for a visa or for a residence permit and everything and my German when I moved there was null so I didn't know what the heck was going on and my host mom helped me that entire time and she was the one who would like take me and show me what to do so without her I don't know if I could have done that alone also another amazing part of living with a host family is the food my host dad was the best cook in the world my host sister was an amazing cook too and I was just so lucky I I know that some people have had like horror stories of living or not horror stories um but they did have culture shocks of moving in with a German host family and tended to be in more of like the former eastern part of Germany uh, where this was the case but like for dinners they would only eat bread and like cheese and kind of it would be cold dinners which for an American was kind of odd because for us like dinner is the biggest meal and it's almost always hot not always but for the most part we're used to like warm meals so for some people that was hard but for me <laughs> my host dad was a fantastic chef he would cook German food um we had some Indian food, all sorts of food. I think that it was just amazing because you don't have to stress about cooking on your own and it also like opens your eyes to what a normal German family would eat. So like I learned that a lot of German families eat less meat than in the United States and they're a lot more like cautious, con cautious. Um, they're a lot more conscientious. Is that even a word? I don't know. They like focus more on like bio or organic and just it was interesting to see because those are things that you wouldn't pick up on if you're living in a different country alone. Uh, not necessarily at least because it's harder to see the culture of family life and eating together and meals and that was a big part of my exchange I feel like as every night or most nights we would have dinner together and talk. I think that living with a host family is so amazing and forming your connections in another country and for me in Germany because now that host family is my family forever. We talked 
fairly consistently after I left, but now it's kind of like getting harder because you just kind of run out of things to say, um, especially with COVID. Like we would chat every Sunday and I would be like, oh, nothing is going on. And then they would tell me nothing is also going on here. But I think in normal years that you probably have more to speak about um, when you're not in quarantine. They care about you for the rest of your life and you care about them. And it's just a part of you will always be in this family that might be halfway across the world, but you can still go and visit them whenever you want. You are still in contact with them. They're always going to be a part of your life. And you can go and make friends in another country like that, but having this family is just so different. And it's a kind of relationship that you're not gonna find anywhere else, if that makes sense. Another thing that is a benefit is that your language skills improve so much if you live with a host family versus in an apartment. You're forced to talk with your host family, like not forced, but you want to, and they will help you learn, for me, more German if you're going to a different country than whatever language they speak there. It can correct you, they can give you everyday vocab, you're just having more and more conversations with them than what you would have if you were alone. So I think that was super beneficial in learning a language super fast. If you've seen some of my other videos then you'd probably know I didn't know any German moving to Germany, but living with this host family and going to school I became fairly fluent, at least conversationally, fairly fast. And I think that I could not have done that had I been living alone or with other students. Just having to use the language so much more often and you're listening to other people's conversation as well, which not eavesdropping, <laughs> um, but you are listening, like for me, like listening to my host mom talk to my host sister and my host parents talk, like you hear more conversation than you would if you're just spending time alone in an apartment or doing your own work, you know? Also, your host siblings can become your best friends. They don't have to become your best friends, but they can still really help you in navigating, like, life. So for, <laughs> these are, these sound so general, but it's just so true and it's hard to put into words. But basically my host sister was so helpful in showing me the mall or showing me where to get to school and how this works because it's it's different when you are trying to figure things out on your own it can be scary and intimidating and when you have someone so close who's like looking out for you it's really calming and helpful I remember at the very beginning when i had absolutely zero friends my host sister would take me and we would go places together she would show me around all over Passau and we would walk through the city she would show me the best donor spots and the mall and just like everything and she helped me make friends and so it was so helpful to have like a mentor who's also your friend and if I didn't have that I don't know what I would have done so thank you so much to my host sister. It's also really fun to live with a host family because you get to share your own traditions and then the host family is for the most part like super eager to show you their traditions and I found that to be totally true at least in my case and for some of my friends like June and Sophia. If you're willing to host an exchange student that's so such a big thing and there's got to be some reason that the host families are willing to do it and a lot of times it's just because you want to learn about the cultures of this exchange student and we as exchange students want to learn about the culture of Germany and of wherever you are so a lot of times just little things like you're both so excited to share your cultures with one another and whether it be like holidays so like thanksgiving i cooked thanksgiving and it was really fun showing like what we do for thanksgiving and what we eat or for like germany my host family was so excited to show me the dolt which is the like smaller if you're american you'll consider it like an oktoberfest but that's not technically what it is it's like a festival and all the little cities at least in byron have them and it's got the carnival rides and you wear the cute little german dresses um so they were super excited to show me that and to show me like other parts of germany and what they do and going to cafes and so you get such an insider view and such a better understanding of the culture that you wouldn't find anywhere else which is the main reason why living with a host family is so amazing. And then lastly, as an exchange student, you are so confused and this is such a like new experience. You don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what to expect, but you just don't expect that much. And then these host families are so 
welcoming and they provide you with so much and they just treat you like you're their own child which just still blows my mind to this day how much my host family did for me basically this video is just a big thank you to them also an encouragement if you are in germany or even in the united states if you're anywhere an encouragement to host students um because we are just so grateful and this whole system of like willing to take in a random stranger and let them live with you is such a strange concept but it is so influential and impactful as you guys can see like my life has totally changed after living in germany and if it wasn't for my host family willing to take me in then that wouldn't have been the case it's just such a cool cool thing i would really really encourage you guys to either be an exchange student and live with the family or host an exchange student if you're willing um, every experience is unique nobody is the same i will definitely include some links to like cbyx which is the program i did and some links to how to become uh, exchange student or like exchange student programs and also post programs down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bleib gesund und tschüss!